Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the Streaming Advisor. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're doing today is taking a look at the Google Chromecast with the Google TV built in. This is the new Google Chromecast. As you see, it has a menu. And what we're going to do in this video is talk about sideloading on this. It's a little different than it was in Android TV and even the Fire TV. You're going to see that you, know, you can still sideload, but you have to go through some steps that are just a little bit different, a little almost anti-intuitive. you got to jump into a hidden mode, and you see where you start here is up in the right-hand corner. It, you're going to find your profile, and there's where the settings is. You can also press the home button, and it will pull up the settings as well if you just hold it down. But... Regardless of how you get there, you want to jump into settings. Once you do so, you want to get yourself down to systems and press the little button in the middle of the directional pad. On the next screen, you're going to want to click about. And it looks like I missed it. It's usually right at the top of the screen, and there it is. So you're going to click about. Now in the About screen, you're going to go all the way to the very bottom of the screen. There's a whole lot of different settings in here, or just kind of information about what you're dealing with. But what you want to go to is this. And you're going to press the button in the middle of the directional pad seven times. You're just going to tap it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll see we're tapping it. It even keeps up with it. And now, I am a developer. I don't have any apps to develop, but what this is going to let me do is jump in and be able to do more with the Chromecast. So what we're going to do now is jump back out to the home screen. A lot of times when people want to do sideloading on a Fire TV or a Chromecast, the starting point is often the downloader, which is a free app on the App Store. You can actually get it by pressing the little Google Assistant and just asking for the downloader. So let's click here. And we're going to say, I'm going to press that button and say downloader. The downloader, there it is. All right. And we're going to go ahead and download the downloader. It installs nice and easy. Like I said, this is an official app. And we're going to open it. We have to allow the thing to access the photos. Go to the little intro menus. And you're going to notice there's a search menu in this. So now we're going to go into settings. We're going to go to apps. And... Where downloader is, you're going to see that it has permission for storage. That's important. But what we need to do is activate it so that we can go in and use this for sideloading. So here's what you do. Once you have your system set up, you go into settings. And whichever app it is that you're trying to give permission to, you go to where it says apps. We're going to select Downloader, for instance. We're going to go to Security and Restrictions. From here, you see that Downloader is listed as an unknown app. So we're going to press the button in the middle of the directional and turn on Allowed. Once you do this, the Downloader will be able to be fully operational. You'll be able to add on extras you'll be able to access the browser so from here we're going to actually jump back in to the downloader the apps take a little bit of getting used to here because they're not along the line like they used to be so apps I'm gonna go to downloader and for instance this is important you can always go straight to a URL, 
but if you need to use a browser you're going to have to add it so it gives you instructions as to how to do it that you got to type in that whole thing browser.aftv news so from here you go ahead and type that in dot I left off the A silly Ryan I go back AF and you want to make sure you have AF TV just like it says you know up there AFTVnews.com that's a good little hint, right? It's up in there in orange. All right. Browser.aft. Typo. All right. One more second. See, it happens to the best of us. All right. But you, know, you want to make sure that you have it in there correctly. Otherwise, it won't work. So I'm glad I caught that. All right. We're all set. We just click through, accept it, and say done. So it's already installed. We're going to say done. And now if you notice, you can click on the browser and see what you want to see. Now, it's easy to make a mistake and just go in here and start trying to type things or even use Google Assistant, which you can do. But if you don't you know, clear it out first, it will not work. So the first thing you want to do before you try to download anything or go to a browser it's clear out this screen. And then you can actually use the Google Assistant. And we're going to look for file linked. And now you've got the browser. You've got the working little toggle here. The little, you know, the mouse following thingy there. The cursor. And from here, you can download file linked and you can get on your way. And you can use this to get a hold of anything, but I just find FireLink to be a, a nice little resource because there's so many people that have put things in place like Aptoid TV and things like that. But that is what you need to get started. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, please share this with your friends. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Please subscribe and stream on, my friends.